It's an interestingly spelled word, isn't it? B-L-I-G-H-T. Blight. Uh, the absence. The, um, it's a condition that evolves or comes about as a result of, of people taking their hands off of something. This is um, the house I grew up in, the neighborhood I used to walk to school in on the east side in the area called Creston Hills. You know, it was a, ver a vibrant neighborhood. For whatever reasons, this area, you know, we believe has been allowed to decline. Well, I lived in this house most of my life, up until like 18 or so. Uh, moved back into the neighborhood and uh, after the ice storm in 2007, uh, and have been here ever since. When I came back, uh, I did not recognize my neighborhood. I grew up in this neighborhood. Everybody knew each other. It was just a thriving neighborhood. I've seen the change. There's a lot of abandoned properties over here. There were a lot of abandoned properties. At one time, I remember counting 40 vacant properties owned by the Urban Renewal just in South Creston Hills. The last three houses on this side, all three of them are vacant and have been that way for some time. They were vacant before I moved back here in 2007. Okay, and, and, and they pretty much stayed that way. Uh, the other houses that are vacant, they have caught on fire. Uh, uh, people have gone in there and vandalized them. Uh, you name it, particularly if, if, if nobody locally is concerned about the property. One of our biggest uh, problems was uh, Crescent Hills Elementary School. It's, it's been vacant for at least 10 years, 10 to 15 years. The windows were being broken, uh, people were going in and, and the roof was falling in and those types of things. It was, a, it was a beautiful school to grow up in. We had May Days and, you know, it was a place in the park for the summertime. And, and the traditions that surrounded that school were just shut down in this neighborhood as a result of the depopulation, I believe, that followed urban renewal. The, what do you call it, absentee landlords don't want to put the time and effort into the property. And then the, the people call themselves getting angry and, uh, you know, they do things that uh, would damage the property, make it even worse, to the extent that, like this house right here, as I said, got caught on fire because they were cooking drugs in it. Who knows whatever else is going on. I just knew what was happening here. Homeless people would move in there. Uh, drugs, it creates uh, problems like uh, dogs, stray dogs, stray cats, uh, uh, rodents would be all over the place. So, you know, you needed to keep those properties maintained. The properties are declared uh, blighted or whatever. And then these Jack buys ugly houses companies come in and they invest and they hold on to the properties for some date in the future when things are going to change. So I think people around here stand to be put under a lot of pressure to um, leave their properties. So all of those factors, I believe, impact the quality of life. They, they impact people's mindsets when it comes to still being in the hood. All of those factors, to me, define blight. I was very, very proud of where I came from. I'm still proud of where I came from. I'm still proud of Creston Hills. Have a good day. You the same. Thank you. I feel on the one hand sad, but on the other hand, I feel, I understand. To me today, it means um, a desire to keep that legacy alive, to, to maintain this area uh, for the people who, who came here, who, who inherited it, if you will, when the whites took flight. Uh, when they moved beyond 23rd Street. And to, you know, have a sense of regard for that, respect for 
this is our neighborhood. This is where we grew up. This is home. And uh, the people in this area deserve to be able to celebrate just like the people in Nichols Hills do.